FutureLook's CES 2011 coverage is brought to you by NZXT, creators of the award-winning Phantom Enthusiast Full Power Chassis and the Hail 90 80 Plus Gold Power Supply Series. And EZP.net, fast, reliable, and finely tuned web hosting and the official home of FutureLooks.com. Hey everyone, my name is uh, Edward Wren and I am here representing Zalman at our CES 2011 suite in the lovely Mirage Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. So at our first stop here is our first station and um, we are introducing here the Z9 case as well as our Trimon brand 24 inch 3D monitor. As you can tell it is running Call of Duty Black Ops right now in 3D and uh, really awesome guys this monitor actually comes with all of the drivers and software necessary to uh, run games or movies in full uh, 1080p HD 3D and uh, a great selling point about this monitor is that it is not an active monitor like the NVIDIA ones that you keep hearing about. This is actually a passive monitor, uh, very similar technology to what you see in the IMAX theaters. So these glasses cost about $20 a pop and you know with this you can have your whole family being able to enjoy 3D at a much light lesser price point. As well, um, since it's passive, uh, you get much less eye strain and um, better quality in the 3D imaging as well, less ghosting and all that good stuff. Um, this actually is uh, our new gaming case, a budget gaming case. Now, uh, it is the successor to the popular Z7 Plus, and um, we've basically completely redesigned this case from the ground up. It now comes with a bottom-mounted power supply, cable management, painted inside. The Z9 Plus comes with a uh, temperature display up in the front here, as well as a fan speed controller. Now this is a Zotac GTX 580. That's a $500 graphic card, and as you can see, it has absolutely no problem fitting in this budget gaming case. So this case will be able to fit all current graphic cards, as well as CPU coolers with its excellent clearance. Um, as you can tell, it has all cable routing, bottom power supply, top fan, great airflow, and you know, people interested in performance yet that need a, a budget case, um, this is where you'll come for the Z9 Plus. This is the brand new GS1200, the successor to our GS1000 Plus system. Now we've really gone uh, all the way with this. This new system is completely, uh, has so many features, I I'm not even sure if I can list, uh, list them all in the limited time that we have. Um, one great feature is that it has the hot swap drives in the front. That's six hot swap drives in the front. Very easy to take out. So you put your drive in there, knock it in, and the back plane PCB will detect it automatically without having to restart your computer. Um, there's also a hot swap bay up on top for a 2.5 or 3.5 inch hard drive. So that's a total of seven hot swappable drive bays in this case. Um, very useful for those of you that have lots of uh, you know, terabytes of information and don't want to open your case all the time. Um, we've definitely improved the airflow dramatically in this case. We've added a 200 millimeter side fan as well as a top fan. You'll notice that the side fan actually comes out of the side of the case. This is to um, give you that clearance for you know, the super high-end uh, CPU coolers that people typically like to put in these cases. It is uh, our new professional line of 3D monitors. Now this is not a TN panel, it actually uses an IPS panel that's a much higher quality type of display. Um, increases, has a 10-bit color ratio which results in you know, hundreds of thousands of more colors than standard 8-bit color. Uh, aluminum bezel, definitely made for the professional 2D to 3D conversion studios. Um, because, you know, Zalman, since we've always been innovative in the cooling industry, um, we decided instead of making a bigger cooler to increase, increase performance, we're actually going to uh, uh, refine the technology more. Now, this cooler comes with our composite heat pipes. Now, the heat pipe actually has two separate layers inside, um, all resulting in better thermal, uh, thermal contact range, increasing the uh, heat dissipation. Uh, compared to a normal heat pipe, a composite heat pipe gets about 50% more uh, thermal transfer. As well, if you look inside here, you'll notice that this is actually a V-shaped, two independent heat sinks put together in a V-shaped configuration. The center is completely hollow. Now this can creates a thermal control space for your heat sink. You'll notice that we've tapered off the back here as well as the sides, and this is actually to direct airflow towards the heat pipes that is, that is uh, directed on these sides. Now, this 
heat sink has a Qmax of 350 watts, which is the highest Qmax heat sink that we have ever made, and the performance is absolutely superb. Another great thing about it, it's very light, about 620 grams. Now, removing the center has made this heat sink a lot lighter than before, which is good, you know, because you don't want it to rip out your motherboard um, during transport or something like that. Now you might think, wait, if you remove the sensor, doesn't that reduce cooling capacity? But what we have done is actually made the fins much denser. So this fin count is actually very high, so you get the best of both worlds. Now this is the N-series solid state drive. It comes with, of course, the Sand Force controller. Um, several reviews of this drive has already gone online, and many people have been saying this is one of the fastest and most reliable drives out there. Now a special selling point about this drive is that the casing is actually a, a special aluminum stamped case. Now what this does is it reduces vibration, increases cooling, as well as it's very, very light. So um, pretty neat with this SSD drive, of course priced very competitively. And of course we have our S series. Now the main difference between S series and N, of course this is using the J-Micron controller. It also has a USB port here. So you can actually use this as an external hard drive. You don't need to plug this into your computer, simply plug it into a USB connection and you can use this SSD as a external hard drive. We've also expanded into the HDD enclosure market. This comes in three flavors, uh, 100, 200, and 250. Now I'm holding right now the 250 version. You'll notice that there's a small LCD display up on top. Now what that is for, it, it gives you some playback information. And a cool thing about this is it actually acts also as a virtual drive. So let's say you know I'm going to my friend's house who has an HTPC, and I want to bring uh, Avatar over on a Blu-ray ROM that I have. Well, I, put, I load that into this, and when I take it to my friend's house, instead of having to navigate all the folders, when I plug it into the computer, it automatically detects it as a Blu-ray ROM. So it's almost as if you just put the disc in the HTPC, and it runs automatically like that. No hassle, very convenient for uh, you know, those people that really enjoy the, the movies and have a lot of it to share with their friends. The 250 is uh, an HDD enclosure that comes with super speed USB 3.0. Um, we really try to make the design elegant. Uh, it is an aluminum foundation with uh, a white acrylic plastic covering. Um, so it gives that, that nice Mac sheen. Um, this will also be available in black when it launches. Expect these, uh, this set uh, trio of HDD enclosures to launch sometimes in Q2 of 2011. Uh, Zalman is nothing without all of our fans out there and we love you guys very, very much. So please continue to support us and be on the lookout for brand new Zalman products in 2011 because we still have some tricks hidden up our sleeve. We're not going to reveal everything just yet. Thank you very much and have a great day.